Our round one is underway between one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division against maybe the best grappler in this division. Going to be interesting to see how it plays out style. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the team. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. Single collar tie now. Able to land the left hand there. Big hook. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Blocks the shot. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, not a great entry. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Here we go. Look at how he turns his hip. So once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Stuff to take down, no problem. Off collar tie. Effective punch there by Nermago Meta. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Got the single collar tie. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Flush with that right hand. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. You can up, you go down, and another take down a tip lane. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> to the legs before his opponent reacts. By feeding him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Well, that's a good strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's checking around the triangle. Oh, that's nice. 
strikes. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Over and over. Medov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice land there by Marco Medov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this, and that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little. Oh! Oh, oh, he him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Shaw is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. See what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it. Then. Yes. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fights. That is it. And that's going to do it. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. has the official decision. I don't write rhymes, I write checks. Might rewrite some life if the price set. Mic check, one, two.